So it doesn't look like much now in the middle of winter, but it's pretty spectacular in late summer when everything's blooming. Morning everyone. You might remember my five facts tag vlog thingy where I mentioned I was part of a group that helped restore a prairie area. Well this morning I thought I'd show you what it looks like now when everything's in bloom. And right uh, next to me here we have what's called gray-headed coneflower which are blooming all over the prairie right now. This is called wild bergamot. It's, uh, I believe it's the plant used to make Earl Grey tea. Uh, it's also called bee balm, and bees love this stuff. You see honeybees and bumblebees and, uh, and lots of other insects feeding on it, uh, and butterflies as well. This is a cup plant. I think they get about seven, six or seven feet tall. Uh, they have a square stem, but their main feature is the leaves where they attach to the stem, wrap around it to form a little cup, and that cup holds rainwater, and hence the name cup plant. These are black-eyed Susans. I think they dominate early in the life cycle of a prairie. We had lots of these all over our prairie for the first two years after we started the restoration. Uh, but now there's only a few small pockets of them left as the more competitive plants have uh, taken over and filled in. This is some of our purple coneflower. It's also called echinacea. Cone flower is what's known as a composite flower because each flower head is actually a composite of dozens to hundreds of little tiny flowers. And a lot of times, flowers like this, they'll actually bloom in a sequence starting from an outer ring and moving in towards the inner ring. This orange flower is called butterfly weed. It's a kind of milkweed. Uh, it attracts a lot of butterflies, except not right now. Actually, we have so much of this bee balm around here that the butterflies are hitting that, and mostly all I'm seeing on these today are uh, honeybees. I found a great view of the prairie by climbing this dead tree. I don't know how well it's going to show on camera, but it really looks great in person. 